Hi guys, welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. We got a keyboard from Microsoft. So this is uh, accessible at the price keyboard uh, if you are looking for something on your smart TV to just to tap or to search for something on the internet. You have this uh, okay keyboard, I would say. It's uh, small, it's rounded at the corners. An unboxing is just taken out. The keyboard I had the keyboard came with a plastic cover and we have the receiver here that will put it in your smart TV. I don't recommend you for your smart TV because some functions will not work. And uh, I want to tell you about these buttons. You will have uh, playing of music, sleeping. These buttons will work on the computer. I. Um, managed to test this keyboard on my samsung smart tv and it's not it's not working all the buttons are not working and uh, it's more for computers it's an integrated multi-touch that enables easy navigation the producer tells us with easy gesture support to en enhance your windows experience so the producer uh, talks for windows but Somewhere on this, uh, yes, in English here, if you are looking, it's tell us works with select smart TVs and gaming consoles. Okay, uh, you can customize your media hotkeys with a Windows driver, but uh, as uh, I told you before, it's in Windows. You have the volume controls here and a nice feature that I like, it's spill resistant. It has a spill resistant design for accidentally drops or something. This is nice. Uh, the wireless connectivity with USB and uh, here is the catch. The producer tells us uh, we can freely room around uh, 30 feet. If I'm standing in front of the, the TV with the keyboard and uh, the receiver blocks something, the receiver the keyboard will not work so this is a junk this is a junk this wireless connectivity it's better with logitech that uh, we know uh, this cup that company is uh, very reliable and good products and uh, good connectivity it has some advanced encryption standard with uh, 128 bit encryptions i don't think we will use uh, encryptions in the company you can use this in a company uh, for your work this is for more uh, rapid use entertaining uh, and yes with smart tvs here it has an on off switch that it doesn't write anything it just is and a nice led the batteries are lasting uh, is Duracell okay it's lasting for a year maybe two years and the price of this is somewhere in $40 so it's kind of cheap uh, okay let's test it on the smart TV let's see the keyboard it's operating and let's say we can use it this control this windows to open up the menu and now from the menu you have the touching pad let's bright up okay so you have the uh, the touchpad you can use it in the menu and select something in the menu let's say speaker settings with the escape you can go back to that mm, to the main menu I want to tell you, I uh, put the receiver somewhere, uh, not with an obstacle between the receiver and the keyboard, because if you will put it uh, in the back of your TV or in the sideways with the obstacle, you will not, uh, you cannot work more than one, two meters uh, with your keyboard. Uh, so now, if I want to use the volume controls, are not working. The mute, sound mute. No, it's not working. Uh, this is the click. You can click it with 
this. It's the left click and the right click. I didn't manage for any of these controls to work. It just brings up some controls, let's see, the menu, the main menu as you saw before. So this is a disadvantage uh, for typing, it's okay. So for example, if we want to go in the Smart Hub, you got to press on your remote for the Smart Hub and for example, let's and uh, with the well-known firmware from Samsung, I managed to do some kind of uh, firmware update and it works a little better from the previous firmware, but for a quad-core TV, I'm uh, repeating myself from the other reviews, Samsung, this is not nice what you've done with these TVs. They promise fast, fast, very fast TVs, but a non-smart TV, it's faster in the surfing that, than a quad-core smart TV. So, I want to show you something interesting. We have some uh, keyboard settings, but uh, at the selected keyboard, I didn't manage to make other, uh, I don't know, other changes. I just selected English, US International, and uh, this is pretty much it. You cannot uh, tell your TV to use it as a smart or to use this function because it would be great to use the volume controls and uh, the home, uh, for example, if you press the internet key to go with directly in the browser or if you want to listen to music, I don't know, uh, for a music player which you can uh, Tell your TV as default player. If you want to buy yourself a keyboard, I recommend you if you have a smart a Samsung Smart TV, sorry, uh, buy yourself a Samsung Smart Keyboard because it has that functions. You see other devices, you will play, you will pay a low price, but you will lose at other parts. You will lose at the buttons, you will lose uh, at the connectivity. If you want a cheap keyboard for your, I don't know, for your tablet, for your uh, for a tablet, it's a very good keyboard for uh, other devices. The producer tells us it uh, works on uh, Android 4.2, 4.4, KitKat, and 5 Lollipop. So for now, we are at technology reviews. We have a long connectivity, and I like this keyboard. Uh, please support us, guys. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you.